Self-custody is crucial to take full control of your Bitcoin, especially in an environment where centralized exchanges may mishandle your funds or go offline. However, the prospect of self-custody can be daunting for many individuals. Miniscript can be useful here as it simplifies the setup of advanced multi-sig wallets and enhances security for single signature wallets. It also protects against threats like the $5 wrench attack, where individuals are coerced into revealing their private keys under duress. Additionally, Miniscript helps mitigate the risk of losing access to funds stored in multi-sig wallets due to key mismanagement or unexpected circumstances. The benefits of Miniscript also extend beyond more convenience and security. It offers peace of mind, especially when it comes to high-stress life situations like family savings or inheritance planning. By structuring wallets with Miniscript, individuals can ensure that their Bitcoin is passed on securely and seamlessly to their designated beneficiaries without the complexities and uncertainties often associated with traditional asset planning processes. Now that we've gotten a little more in depth into how Miniscript actually works and why you might want to use it, let's show you how to actually use it. Today, I'll be using the Liana wallet to use Miniscript with Jade. There will be more Bitcoin wallets such as Blockstream Green compatibility with Miniscript coming soon. You can find the Liana download link in the description box down below. In my Liana wallet, I'm going to create a new wallet. And once I do that, I'm going to select which keys I want to assign this wallet. In the background, I'm unlocking my Jade. And once I unlock my Jade, I get to select it and then give it a name. In this example, I'll name it Jade1. Then I'm going to select a second key to assign the wallet. And I'm going in the background, going to unlock my second Jade. Once I unlock my second Jade, I'm able to select it. And then again, name this device. From there, I'm going to select a third key to assign the wallet, and actually, I'm going to select my computer. Liana will give me 12 words for this key. You'll see that in a little bit. I'm going to name it computer. From there, I'm going to scroll down, and I am going to select which key I will be able be required to use once the time lock is up. I want to select my computer and I'm going to press apply. From there, I'm going to select the time duration required uh, in order to pass, in order for just one key to be able to spend the wallet. As of recording, I want to select 29 days as I want to be on October 31st to be able to spend the transaction from the one computer key. From there, I'm gonna press next and Liana will give me my 12 words for my computer seed. From there, Liana is going to ask me to back up the wallet descriptor. I'm going to copy this and I will paste it into a doc. From there, I'm going to go to the wallet policy and just read it through everything to make sure this is what I want the wallet to do. Everything looks good to me, so I'm going to press next. From there, it's going to ask me to save the descriptor to a hardware wallet and I'm going to select Jade2. From there, I'm going over to my Jade2 and uh, on the device, a new menu will pop up just to confirm all of the details that Liana just gave us. As you can see, I'm going through it. Everything looks good. And I just press good. From there, I go back to Liana and it says, thank you for registering the descriptor. I press next. And then from there, Liana gives you two options. Either you can use your own node or you can use Liana Connect. In this example, I'm gonna be using my own node. And as of recording, Liana came out with a new update that allows you to run a pruned node on your device. So I'm gonna do that. I'm speeding through the uh, download. And once I finalize the installation, a, I'm able to receive to this wallet. From there, I am going to press receive and I am going to confirm the address on my Jade hardware wallet. If you wanna learn why you wanna do this or how to do this, uh, please check out our earlier deciphered on why you'd wanna do this. Uh, the link will be in the description box down below. So in the background, I'm checking on my Jade and the address looks good. So I'm gonna copy it and go over to my Blockstream Green wallet. I'm gonna paste in the address and then I'm going to send the address 150,000 sats.
From there, I am going to go back to my Liana wallet just to see if there's an unconfirmed transaction. And as you can see, there is an unconfirmed transaction right there. With the power of editing, we are going to fast forward to see that this transaction has been confirmed. Nice job. So from there, I just want to see uh, the ability to send those 150,000 sats. So I go to the send tab and as you can see, I'm able to send those funds as we have them. And then I go to home and we can see the logic behind the mini script multi-sig and then we can also see our Bitcoin. So nice job.